And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with the 33rd AK Blade episode. Wow. I'm just going to start off by saying we've got a good one for here for you this week. I know I might say that every week, but it's just as true now as it was then. A little truer this week, if you ask me. We chose a theme here today, you know, a little different, but we thought we'd try it. To be more precise, this week is actually Fortnite-worthy Axe Week. I'd like for you to write a theme. Shook. You can say that Fortnite three times fast. Fortnite-worthy Axe Week, Fortnite-worthy. Yeah, it's, it's not that difficult. What was difficult was watching Jewel hike up a mountain. What was it? Four quattros times that you el tumbo? No, four times that I almost fell with style, might I add. Okay. Most times I just, you know, caught myself because we went out Saturday and did some field testing for these guys. You Whatever you need to say to yourself to make it, you mm -hmm. know, through the day. Mm -hmm. Up first is the Est Wing Sportsman Splat. Look, if I had had a fun flask, I would have fallen more and not even have noticed. If I had a fun flask, that would have got me went. through the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did get to play with my flashlight there. Well, yeah, you uh, can play with that anytime. That would have taken you through the whole day, yeah. really? No, yeah, no. Well, we're just going to go over the specs of each axe, and then we'll show you guys our field testing. It was pretty fun. Okay. You don't want to miss it, by the way. No. He pretty much makes a big fool of himself per the norm, so. Yeah, absolutely, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes, you do. You know exactly. What the heck? Did I put this on like this? You put this on, didn't you? Is that really how it goes? Yeah. And I make a fool of myself. Well, who would think you'd have to put the axe sheath on from the bottom of the axe? It's made in Taiwan. Big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Taiwan's an improvement over China from what I hear. Oh, okay. Um, first... You know what else is made in Taiwan? What? The cold steel kudu. <clears throat> that should tell you okay. right there. Okay. First, this axe is 11.5 inches overall with a 2 7 and 8 inch cutting edge. It has a genuine laminated leather sheath. Uh, wait, wait, did I say leather sheath? I'm sorry. <laughs> a laminated leather handle. Uh, which is 5.5 inches on its own and is one piece. This amazing specimen was made in the USA. See, there it is. All good there? Can you can we see? Yes. Oh, I was upside down. I'm sorry. Uh, finally, the East Wing Company is known for its you know well constructed tools, and so this axe has a temper balance and finish to maintain the look and strength of the axe. Which really showed on the field test. Yeah. I mean, the ergonomics of the handle was the best part of that axe. I mean, I was a bit surprised just because it's a smaller axe head with a slightly smaller than usual uh, cutting edge. Mm -hmm. It also comes, as I showed you guys so gracefully, a black nylon sheath, uh, which you can string on your belt. Or, as I think C had it, like, paracorded to your pack. Yeah, I put paracord on almost all of them there so they would stay on the pack. Although I got to, I got to carry this one, so. Yeah, no, so. Yep. It's knife. It's knife. It, yeah, we're all just. This axe is perfect for hunters, campers, and outdoorsmen. Each axe is made to last a lifetime. Axes yeah. and wood splitting tools mm -hmm. are intended for felling trees, as you will see. We actually uh, cut down tested tree. each one of these on about a two and a half, three inch, freshly cut tree. I think it was a walnut. So it was pretty difficult uh, to cut through them. And the Fortnite Boom, pinata is down. goes to dynamite. Yeah, don't even attempt it. Talent, wow. my dear. Talent. Wow. What you like. Okay. So, we didn't split any wood with them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can use these for also notching timbers or, yeah, we you get know, some feathering. driving wooden or plastic stakes into the ground, for like tents. camping stakes yeah. for tents. I actually, to be honest, I couldn't wait to test these. So, just roll the clips for the East Wing. Are you going to... Wing sportsman axe. Right. So about 12 inches leather leather handle. All right.
trying to. I think she had a little too much fun using these axes. Well, look, I chop stuff, you Sometimes. know. I, you know. Yeah, but did you enjoy that as much as I say throwing? No, but for forty-eight eighty-four from Atlantic Knife. Dot com. Whoop, whoop. I thought maybe I'd get one to throw around in my next day off. Mm. Oh, this isn't really a, a throwing axe, is it? No. But are any of them really? No, the, I knew the SOG could be thrown because yeah. there's a SOG throwing axe. It's very similar to this. This isn't, this isn't weighted for throwing, but I knew it wouldn't break because of the handle. I got gotcha. you. And speak of the devil. Hey, it's next. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like... Uh, since we're going with the Fortnite stuff, I feel like Jonesy could really pull this and off. And he's the only one now on the table, isn't he? It's because they don't have a pop they of They don't him. have a pop of Jonesy. Why would you not? People argue because he sucks. So out of all the characters... But I don't think so. You go with the free beginner character? Yes, I like him. I mean, he's not like super decked out in like sci-fi outfits or have a marshmallow head. I don't you could tell what my take is on that one. But he's dependable and he kicks butt. Because I also like the Tower Recon Specialist. But I don't play that often since it's not really like my favorite game. I actually, I'm more of like a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, maybe PlayStation 2 depending on the game kind of girl. So, Tetris. So they don't have a Yoshi? I don't think they do. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. I'm sure everyone out there in YouTube lab loves hearing this. By the way, her favorite color is green. She's a Leo, and her spirit animal is a blobfish. It is not. It's actually the white-bellied go-away bird. <laughs> Let's just tell them about the axe. All right, then. Okay. This axe is also 11.5 inches overall. It has a stainless 5-inch brushed satin finish, 2CR13 axid, with a 3.1 cutting edge and a hammer end right there. It also has a black durable glass reinforced nylon handle that spans almost the entire axe. I mean, like a quarter of an inch there, but come on. And lastly, there's a lanyard hole right here. And as a bonus, it comes with a blade guard, which is made of the same material as the handle. It is unique blade guard, I would have to say. It is, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. The only detriment to this knife, to this knife, once again, Jeez. to this axe. That's because you're or used to doing knives, that's why. Is the weight. It's yeah. only 16 ounces, so it took a little bit to get through a. Uh, yeah, some tree. Yeah, a nice little piece of wood, but it made it. The steel comes in at about 51 to 52 on the hardness scale. It's designed for hammering, which it did well. Stop the hammering. And chopping, <laughs> which it makes it a great, you know, little I'm outdoor not hit the tool. Table, it will all fall like dominoes. Mm. I like my axe also to be on my pack like this. I don't like it when it's down here. Mm, swinging? Yeah, I don't want it swinging. Well, well, some of them have sheets, so it wouldn't really be swinging. They do, but the lanyard hole, I like it more for putting on my wrist. While you're While using I'm it? While I'm using it, yes. But doesn't that kind of... This stupid thing is out of here. You know, that's not mine or yours. Whose was it? I think it was your Krispies. No, oh, that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Okay, well. Anyways, that. Oh, wait a minute. Was this one the the one that you threw into the tree? Yes. He he wanted to test throwing it, so he got a half a tree that he has at his house, and. We filmed it while, while, when we went there. It works does, better throwing it underhand, what does, she said. Yeah. Because we, we cut an apple, too. So we're going to show you that clip, too, because it's pretty funny because there's a bee. I know it's not super exciting. Well, but. you know, this is a small size. Yeah. It, but it was easy to transport, and the dual purpose is also what made this tool perfect to fit with Fortnite. Fortnite. Whoop, whoop. Not to mention, it looks awesome i mean i would put this in the weapon section thank you see yes and it's only 44.95 on atlanticknife.com well all i know is that it was fun to use mm -hmm. and it really it got the job done it's the job done it does 
Woo! This is not meant for Jewel. Donuts are meant for Jewel. That's amazing. Yes. You're almost there. Bam! That's the first clean cut. Thank you. All right, show us that sock. Oh, yeah. What is that on your wrist? That is a Zippo watch. watch. say that the saw camp axe is of course the never been able to say this correctly fortis fidelis Fort yeah some, someone will correct you that's not right fortis you know what we should say them all wrong fortis like, like you said you said east wing and there's no e there's mm. no a i'm not sure if it's i can't remember est if it's wing? est wing or east wing. wing you should call it east wing and i call it est wig est wig yeah there like the wig go. party we'll take out the n you can correct us at the bottom of the screen. We know you take extreme pleasure in that. that yep. And we love hearing your comments. So, mm -hmm. so this is the Candor. Yep, the Forest Fidelis Fortnite Worthy Axe. As we've said, we can win them with alliteration. I agree. I know that's my philosophy. Well, that in Who Wants Cake? Everybody wants cake. Actually, it's Who Wants Pie. Oh, yeah, we know. Mine is choose old people for enemies. If they die, you win. Wow, you don't have, like, anyone in particular in mind, right? Objection. Leading the witness. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. <laughs> this is just something I've always thought was good advice. Sure. You know what else is good advice? Yeah, the camera girl knows exactly where we're going with this. What is good advice, Joel? Oh, my gosh. It's subscribing, liking, sharing, and ringing the notification bell for Atlantic Knife. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> That way, you are only a press of a button away from new videos and content and our lovely, lovely faces. And, and making wit. me smile. Mm. You can also find us on Pinterest, oh, see that. Facebook, Reddit, and of course, YouTube. And I would say Instagram. No. No! Not this time. So if you're ever without access to one, you'll have the others as backup. Backup! That's yeah, pretty universal. But, yeah. Uh, let's move on to the X, please. That was okay? a nice segue. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. First off, it's 11.5 inches overall um, with a 7 inch desert tan powder coated uh, 1075 steel axe head. And it has a 3.25 inch cutting edge. It's also got a, a natural linen micarta handle. Um, there's some jimping back here. We're not exactly sure what it's for. I mean, you could probably use it for maybe pulling nails out, maybe. I don't know. With I the email Joe Flowers. I think so, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, it also comes with a tan. It's a very big. Tan Kydex belt sheath. So. Which yeah. the sheath itself will allow you to attach it to any molly pack. Yeah. Because you have a grommets all over the place. Exactly, and I had it attached to my pack, so you can suck it. Suck it. Mm -hmm. So, we know that you can put it on your pack mm -hmm. any way you want. Side mount, up mount, has room for a lanyard hole. Pretty much anything you can think of. Yeah. This one probably like performed the best. Oh, by far it obviously cut the best. Mm -hmm. Does that still got pieces of wood on it? I think so, yes. <laughs> we didn't clean them up. Well, we, we wiped them off, but there wasn't no cleaning them up. We didn't uh, 
the, the wood it was a flying. We just used them. Yeah, we didn't yeah. decide, hey, we're going to put this back in the package because that's a used axe. <laughs> we don't sell used products. Sorry, guys. I mean, you can't really hammer with it, even mm -hmm. though you'll probably see that I tried. Yeah. But that's not what it's for anyway. Yeah. So we're in agreement. This one is the best overall, the best axe, the winner. Oh, the handle was the nicest, yes. Mm -hmm. And for $148.73, you can have your own Condor Knife and Tool Fortis Fidelis Axe from AtlanticKnife.com. Wait a minute. We have like two more axes on the table. We, we, we can't go making a final decision until, you know, they've seen it all and we showed you all the field tests. Scratch what we just said. Scratch it. Okay. It's gone. What's the next one then? Delete. Um, the next one is the Marbles Axe. It's the smaller version. Mm -hmm. which you could tell he didn't clean it because he just left the sticker marks right there. Now, it wasn't no one to impress out there in the woods. Huh. So yes. I just thought we would carry him, well, that would use him. I'll clean it off when I get back enough to use next time. So yeah, I bet, I bet you don't clean off the sticker mark. You just leave nope. it. Nope. Whatever. That, buddy. Whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I'll... Uh, Cover that. I'm, I'm very fond of okay, marbles fine, fine. axes. About it, I actually it? thought this axe was going to win. No. I really did. That's why I chose it because I like the 20 inch axe and the, um, the larger axes. Mm -hmm. But as Jewel mentioned, mm -hmm. this is the smaller marbles axe. It's a little over 12 inches compared to the 18 or the mm -hmm. 20 and a quarter. It's got a standard three and a half inch cutting edge and a six inch axe head. The handle is made of American hickory wood which has mm -hmm. a lanyard hole. And finally, it was made in El Salvador because <laughs> that's where American hickory, hickory trees, trees grow. Yep, they're very... And the best part about it, what? for the cutting, it weighed two pounds, 15 ounces. So you got to put something behind and that, it. I feel like that's mostly the axe head. The, the handle it like, is, weighs nothing. But it nothing. sucks when you're carrying these. That's an extra pound. True. And it after is. about three miles, you wish you didn't have any of that water in your pack. <laughs> I'm pretty or sure I made you axe. carry this one. I carried the hydration pack. I don't pack, mind because so. I don't pack mine anymore than I can carry anyway. So. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we had a pretty good time with this one. At least seated. brings us to the final wah, 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 axe on the table. The Off-Grid Tools Survival Axe. Yes, the Elite Survival Axe. Now, if I had to choose one of these axes to use either to win a round of Fortnite or to fight off zombies in a post-apocalyptic world, whichever came first, I would most definitely want this one. I think we all know mm -hmm. which will come first. I also know that this axe has a lot more uses than just chopping and cutting. Mm -hmm. But this was an axe test. True. For instance, it comes with a built-in hardened steel glass breaker and a seat belt cord cutter. Mm -hmm. It also Wait, has a six-inch seat, seat belt cord cutters right there. Milwaukee. Oh, I don't think Saul I can Zoll. That. Thin kerf reciprocal blade inside the handle. You don't have to Hold pull on. it out. They know what you know what a saw blade looks like. I don't know, I, but we should show. Are you ready? Yeah, go. All ahead. right. There's also a gas valve wrench shut off and bottle opener, hex wrench can opener, hex sockets, back hex sockets, recess nail puller, a wire twist, a pry bar, and finally a hammerhead and claw. All this <laughs> makes it the perfect tool. Wow. The multi-tool axe also has, I'm coming back here guys, a rubberized coated glass filled nylon like green gray handle with the off-grid tools logo. Unfortunately it's not hidden like Kershaw. 
which is only a little disappointing. It was made in the USA. Off-Grid Tools has mm -hmm. definitely delivered on the promise of 31 features. It's perfect for every occasion, and it also comes in an aluminum handle. But now it's time for you to see for yourself. Roll the clip. And let's go to the videotape. Off-Grid Tools Survival Axe Elite. I will tell you right off the bat that it comes with a uh, crappy looking sheath. Whoa! I'm just saying. Awesome. Let's see how this thing works. as sharp as I like it. It's not as sharp as I like it. Yeah. I mean it cut well. It cut clean. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, now that we've gone over all the axes, every single one. This one also comes with a sheath. He didn't get to mention that, but it does. And apparently it gets leafed through or weaved through this hole here. Mm, yeah. Like a camel through an eye of a needle. Which would you say is the best axe for the money? For the money. Best axe? For the show. Yep. Condor. Come on, you knew it was going to be. It's made better. I mean, it's cost more. It's probably the most expensive one on the table. Yes, it is. And it's got a good weight. Mm-hmm. What about you? Well, I like how the condor cut. I'm not going to lie. It was the best. That, you know, the cutting, it was really just, it handled well. It went through, I'm going to be honest, it went through the wood like butter. Okay. But I would rather go with this one. The off-the-grid elite survival axe. I just, I think it's the best bang for your buck in a way. I mean, it's small, so easy to carry, either on your pack or just lying around your car inside your bug-out bag. Just not to mention, it's got tons of uses. 31 to be exact. <laughs> Although I'm sure mm -hmm. we could come up with some that aren't officially part of this list. Yeah, I got one. A Jehovah Witness prevention tool. I mean, just, just club them so they come to the door. <laughs> like seals. Well, that's probably inappropriate. Isn't it was it? a little. Yeah, well, we're in Canada, eh? Canadian, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Sorry. The club, seals, Canada. The club seals up there. Well, oh, All up right. there. We don't condone murder. Or clubbing seals. You know, on a completely separate note, mm -hmm. my mother in law would probably want a good look at this axe. Oh, would she? I think there Apparently are some mother in law attachments on that thing. Oh, what is this there? That's... No, I don't encourage it. Uh, I'm sure I just thought she's always having some type of issue, mm -hmm. whether it be no air conditioning or faulty brakes. Oh, through no fault of your own. I no, think. of course not. I can't believe you just assumed that. You've known me for years. I just think this is a tool meant for all kinds of people, especially mm -hmm. elderly women related to my wife living in my house, giving me a five dollar check to cover the cost of cable in 1940 in her room you know my oh, middle daughter God. told me the other day that she passed gas in the hallway <laughs> and it was the loudest she had ever heard now this kid's 14 okay. and we have a I have a 13 year old also oh. you know he's had some gas <laughs> And all she said was, oh my, and kept walking. Now, if my son <laughs> happens to pass a little fluff, anywhere around her, he gets evil eye. And if he picks up his straw, ah, you don't pick it up like that. But this woman can blow off a bomb on the second floor. Give myself the hand like And that. all she says is, oh my, no, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. No, wow. if you need some assistance, I'll help you. <laughs> Nothing. Just, oh my. And kept walking. Oh, okay. I think 
I think we gotta just yeah, but, but as we say in the business, that wraps up the show. Yeah, this is gonna lead to a to... spinoff show. Oh it's no! Just me talking about my mother-in-law. It's gonna be like uh, Tim Allen and his vlog where he does his own rants. Don't forget, we need you to like. Maybe I should start telling mother-in-law jokes at the beginning. We can get more subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Take no my mother-in-law, please. Yeah, we get yeah, it. Please. We said it nicely. She said it. I didn't say it. Don't forget we need you to like, subscribe, and share. Our, most importantly, share the show, please. Come on. Just share. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this show. Yeah, the tears are supplied courtesy of C. Go ahead. We're also on those addictive things like Pinterest, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, and Instagram. Nope. We've got two reminders there for you, so don't forget, all right? And with that, I'm C. Just falling up the hill, C, because he fell too. And I'm Jewel. Just making up stories, Jewel. And we are signing off.